when my parents are gone in a couple of decades, I'll have a lot of money. Um, my dad has $300,000 worth of property right now. Um, I don't borrow money from my family. It's I don't borrow money from anybody. It's not really necessary. Happiness to me isn't money. But, like, I I have enough to be satisfied. I just go eat a burrito or smoke some weed and I'm happy. <coughs> But, like, he's got three sons, so $300,000 divided by three. Plus, he started making some pretty good stock investments in 1995, around Windows 95 coming out. So, he uh, invested in Microsoft. And there's some other things. Uh, my grandfather, his dad, when he died, left them some money. He has two sisters. So, they had a bunch of cows in Texas uh, long before I was born, but my dad said he was pretty good with money and got some uh, good money from my grandpa. Uh, my stepdad, uh, yeah, my, my stepmom and her dad, uh, when he, when he died, she got a lot of money. So they, like, probably a, a million or half a million, I don't know. Um, he had five kids, my step grandfather, so, I don't know what they have, money was never really talked about, they just, obviously they've got money because of the investments and the inheritances that they've got, property, so I don't know how much, my stepdad and my mom also have a lot of money, they had a pool last year, they were tired, my dad's 67, he had a stroke last year, so, 20 or 30 years, uh, stepmom's 61, no, she just turned 60, I think. 61. Uh, Dad will be 68 this year. So, she's... This is 61, and he'll be 69 this year. So, he's 60. Um, so, in 20 or 30 years, I'll... Have maybe a hundred thousand or fifty five hundred thousand dollars. I don't know. Somewhere in the neighborhood of probably a hundred thousand and a million dollars. I don't know. Hundred thousand is cool. Um, but the thing about my dad is he doesn't have any grandkids. He's got three sons and no grandkids. This needs to be corrected. So I mean, if you're eighteen to twenty one, it's a better chance of me marrying you. Um. I'm 40, so I mean, if you're a bigot, don't bother. I don't know, what are you doing with guys your own age that you couldn't be doing with me? I don't understand that. I don't really like hard drug use. Just, you know, hit me up. I, I don't like not having a girlfriend. I haven't had a girlfriend in like eight years. I want someone young and cute for once. And I want to have kids someday. And so do they. Because they're young and cute. If you're going to be a bigot about it, there's no reason for me to talk to you. If you have any kind of reason to say, no, I wouldn't want to be a friend anyway. You're a bigot. Or you hate poor people. Like I live in a homeless shelter, but you're a socialist, communist, or an anarchist? <laughs> uh, it's a non-smoking room, so I've been smoking my legal outside. Look at how much I got left. This whole thing was announced when it started. I don't know how many joints I got left. It was 28 joints. Washington State legal. It's called Gorilla Glue, but this is Glucifer because it's pre-rolls. So they changed the name. I'm in a motel room in Spokane taking some break from the homeless shelter. You 21, girl? You in Spokane? You down? Yeah. I don't know, Christians. I live in a homeless shelter. And 65% of this country are Christians, that's the United States. 
And there are 107 verses in the Bible that say, don't be greedy or worship money. Uh, as a matter of fact, Matthew 6, 24 says you can choose God or money, but not both. But you just pick and choose what you like, don't you? Uh, you're also age-phobic, Gen Z. Well, that's funny because most of you are socialist, communist, or anarchist, but there you are with your bigotry. Uh, Jesus and God say to love everyone several times, but no, you're going to practice age phobia and worship money. Not only does that go against your politics of Bernie Sanders or anything left of him, you're an age phobe, Gen Z. Uh, where are the women at? Exactly. Well, they're riding around with the guys that are their own age or the guys that have money. To me, that's an expression of hate. You're an age-phobe generation, Gen Z. And also, where are the women at? Greedy much? Oh, that's against about 107 verses in your Bible. Oh, but atheists are better than Christians? Okay, fine. Any one of you, I don't care, Gen Z, line up at the homeless shelter at 6 p.m. and give me your phone numbers. Women? I think you're in violation of your God. I think you're in violation of your politics. Communism, socialism, and anarchism. You're left of the Democrats. Or you're a Christian. Yeah, you, you're in violation. You're guilty. You know I'm a good enough person. Oh, you can't forgive me or be understanding or kind or respectful. Well, that's against your religion. That's against your politics, being left-wing. Uh... Guess I'll just smoke my weed alone. You know? You're gonna be like a bunch of assholes towards me. I'll, I'll stick around alone. You're more fertile and politically minded than any other generation. I'm Gen X and I noticed this. So what I'm saying is I'm attracted to you. Why you're not attracted to me? Probably something superficial like my lack of money or something just stupid and face surface that makes you look like a bourgeoisie asshole. Women, you're assholes. Stop being assholes. And I'll be your boyfriend. If not, well, then I'll just I'll smoke that myself. And that's why 21 is the best age to date. I had my chips and salsa, I had a big thing of nachos earlier. Got my third margarita down, raspberry. The previous one was strawberry, bright red. The one before that was blackberry. I think I like the blackberry the best, but that strawberry is pretty.